Hey, this is Kev with Blender Binge. In this quick video, I'm going to be doing the short and condensed version of creating the camera rig that I did in the last video. So if you want to watch the longer version, it's up here. This is the quick version. Ready? Let's go. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to create this camera on a rig and have it follow along this path. To do so, step number one is I'm going to create an empty. Add empty cube. That's just so you can see this in the video. It doesn't really matter what kind of empty you add. Step number two, I'm gonna parent the camera to this empty. To do that, I don't want the camera out in the middle of nowhere, so I'm gonna click the camera and I need to zero these out. So whichever way you do it, you can hit zero in here or not, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna hit Alt G on the keyboard that zeroes out the location, and I'm gonna hit Alt-R on the keyboard, that zeroes out the rotation. Next thing I wanna do is I want to parent the camera to this cube. To do that, I hold down, with the camera selected, I hold down Shift, I select the cube, that's the empty, okay? And I right click, and I say parent, and I say object, and I say hey, keep transform, sure, why not? All right, so now it's parented to the empty. Now the empty is what's going to go around the circle. So the circle will be our kind of control to get a nice fluid motion for this rig. So I'm going to select the empty that has the camera parented to it, and I'm going to add a constraint. So I'm gonna go here to this little constraint glyph, add object constraint, and I'm going to say follow path. Next step is to tell it which path to follow. So I go to target, I go Bezier circle, that's my target, boom. And then I say, follow curve, which I just like to have on, and fix position. So now 0 and 1. You see, if I slide this, it goes between 0 and 1. All right, next step is to take the camera and have it point at the object. So I don't want to have this point directly at Suzanne because I want something to be able to move and kind of move the camera around. So I'm going to, instead of parent, instead of tracking this to Suzanne, I'm going to track this to a other empty. So I do add empty. This time I'll use a sphere just to delineate. And now I will take this camera, next step here, take the camera and we're going to track it to the sphere. To do so, you add a constraint. So camera, I go to constraint and this time under tracking, I say track to. Then I tell it the target. Target will be empty 001, because I have an empty in here that I made another one, so it calls it empty 001. You can go rename it. I'm not gonna do that in this video. So there. Now, it's not pointing at that, so we have to make it point at that. So in this case, I will say negative Z and Y. Y is better, All right? Negative Z, Y. I didn't touch anything else. If you're following along, use Y and use negative Z. Okay, so now you can see if I go back to my little cube and I do this offset, you can see that the camera now is staring at the empty and this empty, okay, if I move the empty, you can see now that the camera tracks to the empty, not to Suzanne. And that right there is your rig. So you can go ahead and if you hit zero on the numeric keypad, you can see that you are now able to go around and uh, let me see if I go to empty and I say offset here you can now go around and you can set keyframes for your camera and do whatever you want so the camera is now separate from this all right if I put this up here and I hit this empty you can see that the camera will stay there as I rotate around okay see that so that is the really quick way to set this rig up and get it working and you can go ahead, I'm not gonna go into the keyframing because this is a short video, but that's how you create the rig. You can save it, you can get rid of Suzanne here, like I don't need her, you can save this as a blend file, and then you can append your, your files and you can always have this kind of rig in here and do whatever you want with it. This is one simple, simple rig. These can get a lot more complicated, but this one should work for you to get nice sweeping kind of camera motions, and again, this is referencing the video that I did up here that was 12 minutes long. This one's much shorter. So hopefully you got something out of this video. If you did, hit like, subscribe, share it, and I'm done.